Hello, and welcome to Boone, out from Booneville. Now this is a Telltale game, but this one's a bit special for me, as I read these comics growing up. Um, we're gonna go to our setup real quick, and just adjust... That's the little tick guy. Um, just adjust that, you see all my settings there. Um, I read these comics growing up, uh, and I've only got out from Boneville, and the Great Cow Race right now. I don't know if the others were ever made into games, and if they were, then I'll definitely go and pick them up. Because um, I've always loved this series, and we're just going to go straight into it. When the world was new, and dreams had not yet receded from the waking day, dragons ruled the earth. The first dragon was a queen named Mim, and she was the keeper of all who dreamed. Mim circled the world and held her tail in her mouth. As long as Queen Mim held her tail this way, there would be a balance between life and death, and good and evil, and the dreaming would flourish. She watched those who dreamed with care, and all living creatures lived together in peace and harmony until one day, a spirit known only as the Lord of the Locust became unhappy. The Locust was a nightmare being without shape or form, who could exist only in the spirit world. To enter this world, he would have to take possession of a mortal's flesh. The Locust chose the most powerful mortal of all, Mim, Queen of Dragons. When the Locust entered her mind, the Queen went mad. Balance was lost and the world grew dark. The dream had become a nightmare. To save the world, the other dragons confronted her, and a terrible battle ensued. As the dragons fought, they crashed back and forth, pushing up mountains and carving out valleys. They knew it would be the end of their beloved men, but for the good of the world, and to destroy the true enemy, they turned their queen into stone, trapping the Lord of the Locust inside of her until the end of times. Later, as the land cooled, the valley was born, but never again would the world be perfect, for the locust lies hidden just below the surface. Filled with bitterness, the locust bends the minds of people to his will, and always he creates suffering. Down through the ages, many have tried to kill the locust and free the queen, but all have failed, and the land remains in darkness and fear, waiting for the day a hero will come and save them. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain Shut when up. she comes. Smiley bone, phony bone, am I gonna have to separate you two? Hey, phony, the coast is clear. Look at him. We got chased out of Boneville two weeks ago, and he's still moping around. Oh, well, I guess you can whine all you want when you're the richest guy in the whole town. Ah! Oops, silly me, ex-richest. They can't do this to me! You can't do anything to a rich person that he doesn't want! Oh, a couple of shady business deals went sour. Is that any reason to run the most beloved bone in Boneville out on a rail? Yes. Beloved? The mayor declared a school holiday just so the kids could come and throw rocks at you. Oh, bad news, Phone. We're out of water. That's it! That's the last straw! Don't get mad at Smiley Bone. This mess isn't his fault. That's right. The townspeople aren't mad at us. They ran you out of town because you're a selfish little greed bag. I can't believe this. I'm gonna die out here. Hey, Phone, where are we? Get us out of here. I can't. We're off the map. I think we're lost. And regretfully, one of these individuals is the hero that legends speak of. We're gonna leave help mode on because I've not actually played this yet. All right, so simple point and click, move around using that kind of stuff. Up, 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 up. Hand cursor. When you see this cursor, phone will try to use the object you're clicking on. Sometimes phone will pick up the object and put it in his back. So we have Smiley Bone. Oh, hello. 
This is gonna let me investigate. Smiley bone, phony bone, or no. Phony bone and phone bone. Go pick up that rock. Well, alright then. There's now a scorpion under Smiley Bone. That's a little unfortunate. Um, anything out in the distance? I could, I could look out at the distance. Should probably try talking to Smiley and Phony. Those mountains look kind of far away. You'd be surprised. I'm a respected community leader. No, you're not. A shining pillar of moral strength. No. How could they do this to me? Well, at first they... Who asked you? Don't get mad at your brother. He needs to cheer up. Try thinking about something besides your money. Uh, take me, for example. I never had a penny in my life, but I'm not sad. I got no responsibilities. I'm free. Free as a bird. A bird? Ha! More like a mangy stray dog who doesn't eat very often. Well, true, but you get my point. I think it's some kind of old paper. It's stuck. Hey, get your fat ass off my rock. This desert is full of rocks. Thank you, phone. Smiley, can what I get you doing, phone bone? Try and get this thing out. I'm trying to get this thing out from under this rock. What is it? I don't know. I'll tell you after I get it out. Ooh, let me know if it's a piece of pie. I love a piece of pie right now. It's not a piece of pie. Just stand up, will you? Sure thing, cuz. Let me help you with that. Huh, looks like it's some kind of map. A map? I'm saved! Give it here! Give me a dollar first. What? Click on this switch between conversations with other characters. We're lost in the desert, just We're give him one. lost in the desert, give him a dollar. What does being lost in the desert have to do with anything? I'm not giving up what I have left for that catawallin hobo. Catawallin hobo? Do you really hate Smiley's music so much? What are you, crazy? How can you stand it? At least he's over that old gray mare phase. True. Boy, you really do hate Smiley's music. What are you, crazy? How can you stand it? At least he's over that old gray mare phase. I didn't mean phase. to click that one again. My apologies. Boop. It's only a dollar. You don't know what it's like to have everything, and then all of a sudden, you have nothing. I'm not giving up what I have left for that catawallin' hobo. Would you rather spend a dollar or die of thirst out here? I'm thinking. We're never going to get out of here without a better map. I'm not giving up what I have left for that cat. Catawallin hobo. Yeah, 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 I get it. Come on, phony. Don't be so cheap. Cheap? I'm not cheap. Just frugal. Yeah, whatever. What did you get Smiley Bone for his birthday last year? You said you were going to remind me. I did. Yeah, but it was such short notice. I told you two weeks in advance. Two weeks? I'm very busy, Phone. How am I supposed to remember something like that for two whole weeks? Forget it. I'm not giving up what I have left for that catawallin' hobo. Fine, we'll try talking to Smiley. Are you sure it's a map of the area? Yeah, there's the mountains over there. Come on, Smiley. Just give him the map. Not until I get my dollar. What do you need a dollar for out here anyway? In case we come by a place where I can get a candy bar or something. I'm pretty hungry. Fair enough. How do you give me the map? Just give me the map. You don't have a dollar, phone bone. That's fair enough. How about the old gray mayor? My favorite. 
The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. Ain't what she used to be. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Many long years ago. All right, Smiley, I got you your dollar. I got you dollar. Look here if you would like a hint. No, my inventory. There we go. Yeah, Dala. Once the backpack is open, you can use left click to select an item. What is this item? Some sort of book. Go away then. Hey, go. Here, Smiley. Here's a dollar. Thanks. Here's the map. Let me see that. Let's see now. What? What is this? This map looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old. It's worthless. It's worth a dollar. That's it. I'm gonna kill him. Smiley, what's that noise? Is it the townspeople? No, no people. Just locals. Really neat, huh? Uh oh. Ah! Like it. Left and right to move phone. Okay, move the mouse left and right to move phone. Left click to jump over obstacles. Cool. Hup! Whatever you do, don't stick out your tongue. Ow. You ate one, didn't you, Smiley? Why me? I think they're gaining on us. Shut up. Smiley! Phone! Save me! Save yourself! Ah, I can't see! Where these stupid bugs come from? Ow. Why me? Phony. Phony bone, no! And then there was one. Ow. Oh god, not the rock again. Leave me alone! Ooh. Ooh. It will fall into my death. This is unfortunate. Is it the one we seek? This is not the one. He doesn't bear the star. Rat people! Kill him anyway. He will be our supper. Who's gonna be your supper? Dragon! <laughs> the great red dragon! Oh, this is exactly how I imagine their voices. Oh, my head. I must have been knocked out. Where is everybody? Did Phony Bone and Smiley leave me? Hmm. <laughs> As usual, I suppose it's up to me to save them and get us all back home to Boneville. Just once, I wish they'd try to save themselves. Say, where did this torch come from? I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, the rat people are looking for... Hello! Hello! They're looking for one of me, but with a star on his stomach, huh? Sounds familiar. Hello. Oop, hello. What are you? This is one of Smiley's cigar stubs. If ah. I can find more of these, maybe they'll lead me to Smiley. Follow the trail then, eh? There's another one over there. Come on, phone, you can do it. These cigar butts smell pretty bad. Can you climb up there for me, buddy? There we go. Keep going. One more. I wish Smiley had dropped breadcrumbs instead. Smiley doesn't have any bread, unfortunately. One down there. 
Right. Uh, maybe I can, yeah. Yep. Nope, keep going that way. There you go. And, boop. Gross. Ah, get over it. Hello. Oops, I've clicked out of the game. One moment. There we go. Follow the crack. Oop, maybe not then. Alright, not this way then. Come on, you can do a phone. Damn it, phone. Cooperate with me, brother. No, nothing over there. Ah, there's one. Definitely tell Telltale has come a very long way since these early games. Morning sure comes quick around here. Eh. Yep. Yep. And one more for us, funny bone. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, it's green down there. I made it out of the desert. Let's have a little look see around the little forest, shall we? Didn't see any more cigar stubs, though. I don't know how deep that water is. Ted, is that you? Hey, watch it! You almost stepped on me! Whoops! Hello. What are you supposed to be? I'm Ted! I'm a bug! Hi, Ted. You look more like a leaf. You look more like a leaf? A leaf? That's an insult! Where's my big brother? What could your big brother do to me? What could your big brother do to me? I'll have you know, my big brother could squash you flat if he wanted to, mister. When he gets mad, he don't ask questions. He just charges. Hold on. I didn't mean any harm. Well, I suppose you're okay. You probably just don't know our ways around here. Guess I won't have to call my big brother out on you. Where am I? This here's our valley. Pretty, huh? It is pretty. Do all the bugs around here talk? Sure. Why wouldn't we? Don't bugs talk where you come from? Come to think of it, I don't think I ever asked him. Well, you might want to sometime. Fair enough. Have you seen my cousins around? Cousins? What do they look like? Well, sort of like me, I guess. Ain't seen no one like you before, mister. Maybe Thorn has seen him? Who's Thorn? Who's this Thorn? He's not another bug, is he? Oh, <laughs> nah. Thorn knows just about everything in the whole world. I don't know my way around here. How am I supposed to find this thorn? Ah, uh, thorns usually at the farm or the spring. Getting to the spring is real easy. Just cross the river, follow the path, go to the bottom of the waterfall and cross the river again, then cross the possum clearing. You can't miss it. Possum's clearing? Possum's clearing? Yeah, that's where Mrs. Possum and the Possum Youngins live. Nice folks. The little ones will love you if you stop and play a game with them. You sure this Thorn is going to be able to help me? Oh yeah, of course. I bet Thorn will know just what to do. Um, I don't see a way to cross this river. Oh, <laughs> you can't get across the rocks like I can, can you? Sometimes being small is an awful nice thing to be. Tell you what, my brother's on the other side of the river. If you want, I'll go over and get him to help out. What do you say? Hmm. 
Your brother? He's really gonna be able to help? Oh, sure. You just don't worry about a thing. What's your name? Phone Bone. Okay, Bone. Don't worry. We'll get you across this river in no time. Thanks. I'll wait here for you. Go, Ted, go! I notice you always seem to jump in threes. Little, little, big. Yep. Sometimes you may need to control other characters to help reunite Phone with his cousins. You are now in control of Ted the Bug. So. Little. Little. Oh, I see. Boing. Okay. How about little, little, big? Little, little, big. Boop. 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 Ba da da. Oh, no, I'm not making my way back there. Hmm. Oh well, we'll figure this one out. This little rock puzzle we got going on here uh next time i will see you guys then see you later